We're gonna need a serpentine belt tool or a 16 millimeter wrench, a T45 Torx bit, a ratchet, some di um, side cutters and a magnet maybe. All right, so here's the tensioner right here. You can see it between the alternator and the AC compressor. Um, right there. Anyways, let's grab the serpentine belt tool and we will loosen the tension to get the belt off. And it's, again, it's a 16 um, size. There we go. 16. It looks kind of weird because it's the serpentine belt tool, but a wrench will work fine. So let's release the tension and then slide the belt off. I'm trying to do this voiceover in one go, so let's see how it goes. Um, we got the belt going off. It just goes around the crank, around the compressor, the tensioner, and the alternator. And here's the T45 Torx, and you can see the top bolt right here, right above the pulley for the tensioner. So we just loosen that up. They're not, they're not very tight, so they're pretty easy to get off. Let's just loosen it up. Here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Loosen it, loosen it. Get it off. And a couple more turns and it's good to go. Almost, almost. And it's off. Uh, Okay, well, oh, one more turn and it's off. Okay, so the other one is on the right underneath that and the trick here is the tension, without the tension released, the pulley blocks the other bolt. So you can either take that pulley off, which is fine, just, uh, I, I think that's a reverse thread if you remove the pulley. But if you release the tension with the wrench or the tensioning uh, belt tool, you can fit a little Allen into that little hole. Um, so just release the tension, put your Allen down there and it'll slide right into the hole, holding the tension back. And then you can go ahead and access the other bolt. So once we get that other bolt off, oh well, yeah. Once we get the other bolt off with this Allen holding it back, you can see here, just like that, then it comes out. But once it's loose and it swings back, um, it's all blocked. So the new tensioner comes already held in the locked position, so you're good. So we'll just put this new one on and tighten it up. And there you go, you can use your 16 to release the tension on the tensioner and pull that pin out. Or you can, uh, yeah, that's, that's the best way to do it. I mean, you could try to pull it out, but kind of wasting your time. So tighten all the bolts down. Oh, make sure to put the belt on before you pull the tension out because then it's just gonna be way more effort than you have to give and then here's the little pin you can just throw that in the trash and the belts on nice and tight and you're good to go